Alright fellas, so once you are right inside your After Effects and you are done with your editing in the After Effects, you need to go to the composition in the top left corner of the After Effects and you need to select add to a render queue once you do so it will give you the add to render queue module and here first of all you need to click on render settings you can click on this best settings and make sure everything is selected as it is that is the default settings and make sure the quality is selected as best and once you're done you need to click on ok in the output module you need to click on this and this is the very important setting we are directly gonna export the mp4 video from the after effects so in the format you need to select from the drop down h.264 and make sure you check this include project link and once you are done make sure you select the output video make sure it is checked and the channels should be rgb and depth should be millions of colors and colors should be pre-multiplied mated and once you are done applying these settings you need to click on format options and in these options first of all under the encoding settings performance you need to select the hardware encoding it will uh, maximize the rendering speed in the after effects for the profile and the levels make sure both are checked and once you are done in the bitrate settings this is very important you need to go for cbr and make sure it is at its maximum i don't know why after effects allowed only 50 bitrate settings for any video to export but that's fine for now they have given us an option to export the mp4 video directly from the after effect so that's fine so once you're done with the videos you need to go to the audio and in the audio format make sure it is asc and the audio codec is also asc and the bitrate should be at least 320 kbps that is very important and once you are done applying these settings you need to click on ok as you can see we have applied the best settings we can change the 48000 hertz frequency and the bit should be 32 bit and stereo is best if you are going to upload the video on the youtube so once you are done you need to click on ok and make sure the log is selected as errors only and output 2 is not yet specified you need to click on this and i will specify the path where i want to export the video for example desktop with the name flexity and once you are done i will click on save and uh, when you are done applying these settings you need to click on render and once you click on render it will try to render the video and it will directly export the video in the mp4 format so let's see how it looks like Alright fellas, so as you can see I have exported the video with the name Flixity. Let's dive into the properties of this exported video and let's see what are the outcomes. So if I right click on this and if I go to show more options and I navigate to properties, I can see this is the mp4 video file that is perfect without any conversion directly from the after effects. And if we go to the details, I can see it is 1920 by 1080. The video and the audio settings are also applied here as I have mentioned in the export settings of the after effects. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. I will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. I will come back again with another amazing video. That's it. Have a nice day and take care.